Hey, once my pros, it's me, Jean Marie, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my natural hair regimen as well as some of my staple brands that I typically know this brand products will work for my hair. So I don't think I've ever done one of these videos on my channel just because I don't know why, but I am now this year, October, will mark my fourth year of my natural hair journey, and I feel like I have gotten my hair down to the point where I know what works, I know what products is going to work for my hair. So it has come to my attention that I try a lot of products, and that is because, you know, my channel is really focused on product reviews and things like that, and so I know you can see these reviews and just be like, what the hell does this girl use on her hair? Like, she always trying stuff. But I do have my staples and I do have the, like I still have staple brands that I know works and I have my staple products that I know work and when I'm not filming I typically use those products and so in this video I want to kind of share with you guys what I do with my natural hair and then some of my favorite staple brands and slash products. I'm not going to really go too much into products because I feel like I've made separate videos on my favorite products and I don't want to rehash those videos so I'd rather just link them and you guys can check those out or something like that but I will discuss like my favorite brands but so let's get into my natural hair regimen so when it comes to my natural hair regimen I tell you guys it is so simple like I do not do the most when it comes to my hair I wash my hair once a week I typically wash my hair like Friday night and I sit in it over the weekend until Monday morning when I have to get ready for it I do not wash my hair during the week or anything like that unless I'm just curious and I want to try something new or something like that but I typically wash my hair once a week so when I wash my hair I always shampoo wash my hair I am a shampoo girl um, I do have a video on like some of my favorite shampoos but I'm definitely a shampoo girl I don't feel like if I shampoo like if I co-wash my hair I just don't feel like my hair is cleansed and I just want a clean scalp every single time I put new product in it and so I do shampoo my hair um most of the shampoos I use are moisturizing shampoos a lot of the times all my shampoos are so fake free but it's not necessarily by choice I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I purposely look for so fake free shampoos because I don't it's just a lot of the times I tend to use more natural products and so because they're more natural the shampoos typically be more natural and so that's just how the cookie crumbles and so after I shampoo my hair I always deep condition my hair I deep condition my hair every single week it is the one part of my regimen that I do not deviate from I have type 4 hair so my hair gets dry really easy and so I always deep condition my hair when I deep condition my hair, I always tend to lean more towards a moisturizing deep conditioner just because my hair is not chemically treated whatsoever. I have no dyes in it. This is just its natural color. It's in its natural state. And so I typically don't need to use a lot of protein-based deep conditioners. I do try to throw them in about once a month, but I typically use moisture-based deep conditioners. So I have a video on all my top 10 deep conditioners, so I will definitely link those link that video in the car so you guys can check that out because that gives you a rundown of all my favorite deep conditioners that i go to every single time okay so i deep condition my hair then after i deep condition my hair i go through to the styling part of my hair i keep my styling pretty simple i typically do braid outs and twist outs those are my go-to i don't really do creative hairstyles i try to you know get out of my comfort zone but you know when something works it works like I told you guys I don't like to do my hair during the week and so braid outs and twist outs I can make last throughout the whole week I do have a video on how I do that so I will link that as well so you guys can check out how I make my twist outs and stuff last a week so I'll link that in there so you guys can check that out but when it comes to like styling my hair I always use a leave-in and a cream based product I typically do the lock method the liquid cream and oil but I guess you could say I do the LC because I have lately dropped the oil part of the lock method and it's not necessarily because I don't need oils it's just that a lot of the creams that I use are so rich in oils and butters that I just don't feel necessary I feel like when I if I go back in with the oil it leaves my hair like greasy just because that leave-in and that cream is just so rich in those ingredients that I feel like I don't need them and so that's typically what I do with my hair um, a lot of my favorite brands which are 
Camilla Rose, The Main Choice, and OBA Natural. Those are definitely, I really like Fortified Naturals as well. It is definitely coming up there. I want to try more of their products. But those are typically my favorite go-to products because those are typically the brands that I know my hair will not fail. So those are definitely my favorite brands. Um, my favorite like twisting products that I typically go to all the time will definitely be the Camilla Rose Almond J Twisting Butter as well as the OBA Naturals, their Curl Moisture Cream, which is actually a leave-in, as well as their Twist Whip Butter. Those are like my go-to like products to twist my hair with. And then I also really like the main choices products. I uh, their ancient Egyptian line and their heavenly halo line is a really good styling products in that line that keep my hair really moisturized. So those are typically my go-to brands that I use when it comes to my hair. Even though I do have other brands that are favorites and things like that, I just find myself repurchasing these products the most when it comes to my hair. So, so yeah, that's typically my regimen. I do do things like uh, Aztec clay masks and things like that to get rid of the buildup. When I'm experiencing like sore scalps and stuff like that, I do do like an aloe vera treatment on my scalp. And so I will link those two videos so you guys can check that out. But those are not something that I do all the time, though I do that depending on how my hair feels. I will have videos of some of my favorite like products. I feel like I've already kind of went through like my favorite stylers recently. I think I have my favorite products at the moment and stuff like that. So I don't want to make this a redundant video of something that I've already said. But yeah, I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. If it was, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you thumbs up this video and I will see you guys in my next video.